This demonstration focuses on the import surface from graphics command available in the En-ROADS product line. You will learn how to properly import vector data to generate an En-ROADS DTM from graphics. We'll go to File, Import, Surface, and pick the From Graphics tab. The first thing we need to do is to type in a surface name. I'm going to call this one Existing. Next, we select how you want to load the data. You have three options, single element, which lets you just go pick the element or multiple elements. You can load from level or from fence, and today we're going to load from fence. Then we need to specify our elevations. If you choose element elevations, the elevations of the graphic elements themselves will be used. You can also select text. If you have a piece of text out there, the software will actually read the number inside the text to get the elevations for the elements. We can also use the drape surface command and actually drape the graphics onto the surface that we are importing these elements into. In the features portion of the dialog, we need to give the features a seed name. These are break lines. So I'm going to call them break lines. Give them a feature style, which will also be break lines. And the point type is break line. You can also bring in random points, contours, interior, and exterior features. Select apply. And at the bottom of the screen, you see the message import complete. This lets us know that the importing process is complete and we can now close this dialog. Go to surface, triangulate surface, and select apply. It processes, then tells us the number of points and the number of triangles. We can select more to bring out the surface properties dialog which will tell us how many random points, break lines, contours, etc. were imported. You can also review the data range to see the minimums and maximums of your northings, eastings, and elevations. Close this dialog. Close the triangulate surface dialog. Go to surface, view surface, perimeter, and select apply and you can see the perimeter of the surface that we imported. This concludes the demonstration on the import surface from graphics command.